I'm sure you found this video because you want to travel to Cape Verde and you're looking for fun places to go and activities to experience. Today I'm going to show you the dopest places you surely want to experience in South Island, Cape Verde. Hello guys and happy new year to you all. It's year 2020 and it's great to see all your smiling faces again. I miss interacting with you guys on this channel. Today we are going to be dropping a video on Cape Verde. Last year December I was in Cape Verde for 8 days and I was able to experience the island, experience the culture, the nightlife, the vibe of the place. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to explore Cape Verde, South Island specifically. For those of you who just joined the Dope Squad, Dope Squad, Dope Squad, I just coined that name by the way. I'm Taya, I know, and I'm a filmmaker and I make travel and lifestyle content in Lagos, Nigeria, and I also travel to other places all around the world. So if you're just joining, be sure to stay tuned and hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Cape Verde is super beautiful guys, being a set of islands in Africa, it has this really chilled vibe. The people are calm and friendly, they got blue ass water that anybody would want to love to dive in. The islands have a great culture and great history and an awesome nightlife. And this beautiful beach, beautiful people. Beautiful ladies, Yee! everybody, Italian, France, Japanese, Francophilia. Cape Verde has a lot of awesome spots to go to and experience. Our main focus in this video is Sao Island, which is probably the most popular tourist destination out of all the 10 islands. If you just got down from the plane, I recommend spending the first day chilling and relaxing in Santa Maria. It is an awesome place with amazing hotels and beaches with blue ass water. The language spoken majorly in Cape Verde is Portuguese but you usually won't have any issues as most of the people on the island are tourists and they speak great English. The best way to experience Sao, which I highly recommend, is to get a tour guide. One mistake we made was trying to explore the interesting areas ourselves and we ended up wasting a lot of time. I would highly recommend Jack the Plug. It was really helpful in showing us all the dopest spots and best tours to experience in Cape Verde. He provided a vehicle for us which cost 100 euros for a full day tour of the island. I'm going to link his lumbar below. This right here, this is Jack. He's like one of the best personalities you can meet around here in South. Uh, and he's telling me about the president's house. And this is the president's house. We should be in an hour. I'm just walking along. How come there's no like security around it and stuff like that? My brother, you're in Santa Maria. What are you talking about? <laughs> The only, thing, the only thing they can come here and take is the fish. One of the first activity I suggest and highly recommend you try out is riding a quad bike through the salt lakes of Sao. We rode the quad bike from Santa Maria Beach towards the salt lake and the activity was insane. Oh, I won't give you. So, we just crashed on the quad bike. 
This is probably one of my best activities to try out in South Island, Cape Verde. We went directly to the source of where salt is naturally being created and packaged and then transported. This was an awesome experience as it was my first time seeing salt cubes up close and personal. Then next, we visited Kyle Beach, which is one of the windiest places I have ever been to. Half of what I recorded in this vlog cannot be heard due to the wind. Hey guys, let's check out what is kite. kite Beach is beautiful, guys. The sky is dotted with different brightly colored kites, and you can chill in one of the nearby restaurants while watching the pro kite surfers do their thing. We also tried out tight roping which ended up in a disaster, well, sort of. We all didn't take more than 4 steps before we all fell off. It was a really fun experience. <laughs> Modiera was our next stop. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. This is a small village which exists between the capital of Sao Island which is called Espagos and Santa Maria. The place has awesome rock formations and is a totally different vibe from other parts of South Island, so it's worth the visit. There are a small collection of houses in this part, which most likely tends to the small population of this region. Our next stop after Modiera was the capital of Sao, which is called Espagos. The streets here are filled with less stories and more of the indigenous crowd. It had a totally different vibe with a lot more housing and less hotels. We climbed to the highest point of Espagos to get an aerial view of it. From here, you can get a close view of the previously used tower control for planes. And then the airport is also visible from here. I suggest not flying a drone here because it is against the rules. Let me just put this back. No stress. Down in the streets, we interacted with kids and the local community and they were very welcoming. Probably some of the chillest people you get to connect with. So, we're in Espargos now, which is the capital of Sai Island. And it has a totally different vibe from the first one, just like I told you guys. We've been to the top, which is the center of the city, and then we've been to some other parts of the city. It looks more developed than the other parts. That part is more like the tourist area, while this is where most of the government officials are, the municipal council, and some of those other things. That's, this is basically where it is. So a car just broke down. I want to see if we can help the person push this very quick. We're trying to render help. Community service. Let's go now. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. Push. Thank you. So you that guy to push his motto. We are done small community service. Oh yeah. Guys, what's up? Um, behind me is the restaurant we're gonna be eating at. This is our vehicle here. We just came down from that mountain at the top right there. And then we're gonna go into that place to go and get some food to eat. I'm really really hungry right now. What do you think about these streets? What do you think about this place being here? What do you think about the Espargos? I think it's high. I think it's dusty when the wind blows. Uh, I think it's pretty it's nice. They have this Havana, Chiba food. You got you got you got chili that Havana Chiba and <laughs> We also tried out the restaurant which had some local dishes. Average price of a plate was 10 euros. Shark Bay is another dope spot I really enjoyed. I got to see sharks for the first time. Not the type of sharks that want to kill and eat you. 
these ones are much nicer. They are called lemon sharks and they are really harmless and love to swim around your feet. You need to get a pair of slippers before going into the ocean so you don't get injured by the sea rocks beneath. They usually cost 3 euros. Also be careful while walking on these rocks as they are slippery and falling is very common. To top of the list was Petra de Loom, which is also referred to as the Salt Lake, and this is where the first church in Cape Verde was built. This is the Salt Lake of South Island. The salt mines are the main attraction here and it has an entrance fee of 10 euros if you would love to go and swim in it. The salt lakes here bear similar qualities to the Dead Sea because you always float on the surface no matter what. So even if you don't know how to swim, once you get in here, you can just lie on your back and float on the water. We rode to the top to catch an awesome view of the salt lake from above. It was really, really windy. This is the windiest place I have been and this is the windiest place I have flown my drone. <music> Lastly, we took a long drive down to town to experience the Santa Maria Pier, which is where a lot of fishing activities take place. It's the most popular pier on South Island and I talked about it in my last video. All these places are free to go to and you'll be sure to have an amazing experience if you try them all out. Cape Verde is an amazing travel destination and I plan on going back to experience what most of the other islands have to offer. So guys, those are the dopest places and surest, nicest places to visit. If you're going to Cape Verde, be sure to check them out. Also, if you're going on a tour, try reaching out to Mr. Jack who is who was an awesome tour guy he was really helpful and it's the plug I have his number linked below it's whatsapp number and also this year guys I'm trying to do more you know talking to the camera shots just like this I'm sure it's been long you guys have seen me sitting down talking to the camera so which is why I'm also trying to do more so I can interact with you guys more if you like this video as always please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you're coming for the first time, also don't forget to join the Dope Squad. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.